Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got some cute uh, um, traveler size notebooks here that I've made that I'm going to slip into my shop. They're going to be very reasonably priced. A um, couple, well, probably three, four months ago, um, I made a video on how to make these faux um, cover uh, journal covers, faux leather rather, journal covers. And I never finished making the actual notebooks. I, um, I have a, a, um, a tutorial up there that it shows the exact method that I use with, um, oh, not mineral oil, um, oh, yeah, 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 oh, okay, here we go. Glycerin, vegetable glycerin, and uh, water uh, to get the to get the craft text to be nice and soft and um, very flexible like leather. So if you might want to check that video out, I will link I will link it with this one. But I have um, a couple different sizes here and I'm going to do a quick flip through and the neat thing about these is you can change out the papers on the inside yourself so the cover will last you for a very long time as long as you want to use it so this this travel let's start with this one let me move these out of the way and they're all a little bit different as you can see um, this one has keys on it. This has been embossed, gone through my embossing folder, and you can see the different color inks uh, that I've used on here. And um, that actually was in the original video. So what I did is, you can see here's the pages, but in each one I have uh, also an embossed folder uh, with papers and I'll show you that in a minute and that's either in the center of the book so it gives you extra writing room or you can just take this out um, actually let me just show you this now so you can see this is the cover and this is just a little um, enclosure here this has been sewn um, Three of them I actually sewn a regular pamphlet stitch style. The other ones I went to the machine and sewed. So they're full of different vintage type papers. Okay, so there's quite a bit of papers in here. Here you can see the center of the signature and the inside of the embossed folder. Okay, so there's one of these in each and they're all just a tad different because, um, I might set things up like assembly line, but I never make anything exactly the same. So this is a real pretty embossing folder that I've used quite a bit. Um, okay, so that's in the middle, so I'll put that aside. And it's mostly just a writing journal, but there are some fun things on the inside. Uh, here's a scrappy tablet on the inside cover, and I'm gonna go very quickly because I'm gonna flip through all of these. And if you wanna see it more in depth before you purchase it, there's gonna be very reasonable in my shop. Um, there's my Made by Julie uh, tag, and you can write on this, you know, cause it's an actual uh, journaling card. Um, how, let me show you the middle of this. So this, this has been, you simply, if you wanna change out your papers, you can just, this is just, um, oh, fly, uh, like crochet thread. You can just uh, cut it and remove the entire pad of paper. And if you're interested in me making refills of this, I can do that as well. So we have just an array of coffee dyed papers and each of them I've probably added uh, some type of, um, of clip you know this is an embellished paper clip this one actually has the little pocket and i'm not going to take this off this is a coin envelope that i did a video on how to make and there again this is the key the key theme 
on this one. Actually, I should put a, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to attach a little key to the outside of this since it's the key theme. So you can move your paper clip throughout, fill your envelope with whatever, and that's a nice heavy duty envelope. Uh, we've got a variety of different papers, including old book papers. Um, just mostly for, you can just pop this in your purse or your pocket and just take with. And here's uh, the middle of the signature. Uh, here I have another coin envelope that I made and this is just secured with washi so you can remove it or you can leave it there. There's nothing in that. It's just for you to fill with what, you know, you notes or whatever. So this is this one. Oh, and this has a, um, a bag that I made out of the parchment paper. So it's like a glassine bag, but I hand make these. And um, you can see some neat different washi on it. So you can take that off. Some book page papers. So there's quite a bit of writing room in each one of these. So you can see the inside of the um, cover that it really has the look and also the feel of leather, but it's, it's faux leather. Okay, so that one I'll put aside. Then I have this one. This one actually has a gold metallic uh, ink uh, on here as well as um, some natural color inks. Um, and this one, because of the gold, I, did, I even did the gold on the edge of the pages. Uh, I did use gold eyelets, and then there's some of this beautiful sari silk. This is a um, hand-dyed seam binding ribbon. This is sari silk, and there's an eyelet here and an eyelet there. So let's just get into this one. This Here's the, the little paper pad here. Um, I'm not going to open it, but this is the same as the other one. has a variety of papers, and I actually did this one. Is this one pamphlet stitch? No, this one I actually think, wait a minute, have I, well, I've glued it in. I gotta look at this and see what, oh, son of a gun. I gotta get that. I think this one I just took to the machine. Either that or I haven't sewn that one yet. I gotta check that before I pop it in my shop. Uh, we've got a pocket here. I made a tag here. Um, actually, is this, this is a flip. This is like a, a flip, a little flip book looking like a tag. And then a little mini coin envelope. And this, these are clocks on here. So that's just tucked on the inside cover. Uh, I have a little bag here that I made that you can, you know, put notes in or whatever. Again, a variety of papers through it book pages, old uh, vintage book pa pages. It'll be coffee dyed or tea dyed papers. Uh, here's one of my embellished paper clips and I just, uh, this is one of the little pocket clips. I did do a video on that. Uh, if you're wondering how to make these um, and there's the clip on the back. So, and you can write on the back of these clips as well. They're like, little pockets but there's room to write okay so papers this is moleskin paper here a variety of vintagey looking papers and vintage book pages throughout okay uh on one okay this is just clipped here there's one of my scrappy tablets a little coin envelope and it's actually a little booklet that i made um with a coin envelope, I did some stamping, and there's some, as you can see, gold metallic ink, and then a little scrappy tablet right on the inside of that. If I can get that back in. And I have this just attached with, well, I'm hung up on something. I'll have to do that after. This is just attached with a small Tim Holtz mini clip. Okay, so... Just gonna show you these pages. This is an old children's book page. Children's book, yeah, page. And lots of papers. And here's the back so you can see, I'm not sure if the metallic 
color is coming up and I just embossed down the middle of this okay so there's that one these will be a variety of different prices um, but they're all going to be very inexpensive now this one i have the black and the natural color and this is material on the outside of craft text and you can see there's the steel gray um and um eyelets and also like a um same color in a um, seam binding and i hand dyed that seam binding actually i think there's some glimmer mist on that and then you can see the inside is the natural colors. Okay, we have a pocket here and we have a pocket there. I've made a tag here and there's an eyelet and some uh, um, eyelash trim. And then we've got three little, two pieces of ephemera and a tag, an embossed tag that I made. And we've got a little bag here and a little ephemera in there. And then the same thing, all the papers. Okay, uh, this is actually an embossing folder uh, that I used to make this lined looking, you know, cardstock. Then right here we have a little minty, mini uh, Tim Holtz clip, Aladdin and the Wonderful Lamp, old children's book page. lots of room to write in the center of this I have a vellum printed vellum um, bag that I made it's open on both sides it's got little bees on it and I did put some items in each of these old graph paper and some pieces of ephemera there's a couple pieces in there Okay, and I have some old graph paper with a, a bowl nose. I think that's what you call those clip at the top, just over the top of this writing paper, some old skin paper, old book page, just a variety. There's a scrappy tablet there. There's one of these in each one. Some of them are tucked in pockets and you can see the inside cover. And now this one I just took to the machine and went right down the machine. Uh, with the machine down the middle of all these the vintage paper here so that's in the middle of this one and this is an embossed uh, craft card stock and I think no that one I have tucked in the front okay then we have this one I thought was quite masculine and it'd be great for a man these are clocks and I did it with this dark chocolate craft text but i also added some uh navy blue color in there and then some smoky black uh there again it's the same type of deal where you can uh add more paper and i have a black rogaine ribbon on this and i did stitch around this in black so Let's go in and, okay, up here we have a pocket and this is just for looks with a brad, this little flag here and then two pieces of ephemera in this, well, it's just one pocket. So we have this clock, I think this is a Tim Holtz piece of ephemera, it's cardstock ephemera and that I just have in there, it's just a tag for writing in one of the scrappy tablets. Okay, that's in there and then the two pieces of ephemera vintage looking okay then we have a variety of pages different papers same as before um, this is in a boss tag I made and I've got it clipped um, with a mini um, actually this goes over the top of the page so it's a little flip up book um, a Tim Holtz mini clip uh, I've got a little bag on this book page um, with a piece of ephemera in there old book page um, we've got a bag in the middle here craft bag and got a uh, journaling tag in there and then just this cute little handcrafted boutique um, 
a tag and with a little button and a uh, bull nose, uh, what you call it, at the end. Then we have some more papers, papers, papers. I'm trying to go so I can get through all these. I think I just have one more. And then at the top, I have one of my coin envelopes. And then this one's a little bit different. I do have a little trim on this little fold out uh, booklet. So, with, you know, you can take these out and pop them in your purse or, you know, leave them in. So there's that one, and this one is completely different. I had made this one some time ago. Uh, this is actually done with elastic, okay? And it is an actual, uh, you know, traveler's journal. These are all really considered traveler's journals. They're all either five and a half by three and a half or five and a half by four, I believe. Okay, the inside of this, this is a Tim Holtz paper. Uh, you can see here's the color of this one. I've got an eyeglass um, clip on the top here, a little pair of vintage looking eyeglasses. Here's a pocket here. There's some uh, coffee stained vellum there. Um, vintage looking paper. This is another pocket here, Tim Holtz. Uh, we've got a little bag here. Um, I rounded the corners of this one some Tim Holtz paper, pocket, old typewriter. This is a double pocket in the middle. See, this is an elastic, so you can pull this right out, leave the elastic in, and add uh, new papers right in the middle. And just keep your cover. Um, pocket, all the neutral tone papers little bag and I did notch it and cut it so you can put something in there little pocket and pocket okay now this one that you can see is like a postal and this is also elastic there this is like a postal theme so that's it guys I just wanted to show you these I'm just gonna pop them all in my uh, Etsy shop uh, it'll be fun little because I'm getting ready for the holiday season i know it's a ways away but i want to give you guys time to shop and these would be great for in a stocking so that's it okay thanks for watching talk to you later bye bye